With the second pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Lonzo Ball from UCLA. See Lonzo with his dad, his brother, and family and friends surrounding him on this moment that family always believed would happen. And as much hype as there has been around the big baller brand, as Jay alluded to, this guy was remarkable in terms of creating for his teammates. He led the nation in assists. He had the third most assists by any freshman in Division I history. He's basically Jason Kidd. He's got that kind of size and length, and he's really incredible in transition. He gets up and down the floor. His ability to pass ahead is extraordinary. He's a terrific finisher at the basket. He shoots over 70% on his twos, mostly because he either gets all the way to the rim or he is shooting a three and shot 42% from three. To say that he's an elite passer, I believe is an understatement. He's not only really efficient in full court situations, he's really efficient in half court situations. Not necessarily a pick and roll guy, but he can throw it over his head. He finds people, you know, dynamic in transition because he can attack the rim and get there quickly and finish with either hand. Rise up and dunk it. You can throw him a lob. Now his shot is not pretty. Uh, it's like Jim Furyk's golf swing. You wouldn't teach anybody that way. But Jim Furyk's golf swing at impact is near perfect. Now the release point here is not perfect, but he makes it, and he makes it at a rate that's better than a lot of guys we say are really good shooters. He can shoot it. With apologies to Magic Johnson and Jason Kidd, I really love Lonzo Ball. He actually, to me, is a faster, more athletic version than Ricky Rubio. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, Ricky Rubio, he's all right, but he's not real. But here's a guy that average on his career, eight assists and two steals. The only other two gentlemen to do that in NBA history are John Stockton and Chris Paul. So Ricky Rubio makes players around him better. I know last year that his team took a point guard in the first round in the lottery, but guess what Ricky Rubio did? He took his spot back and he basically averaged a triple-double the second half of the season. Lonzo's the sixth UCLA player to be drafted in the top two. <laughs> and those other two, that's a pretty good company right there with Big Red and Kareem. Allison Williams down with the newest Los Angeles Laker, Lonzo Ball. Thank you very much, Reese. Lonzo, the Lakers are your hometown team, the team your family wanted to draft you. How does it feel to actually be an L.A. Laker? That's a dream come true. Uh, glory to God. And thank you for everybody helping me get here. Your vision is such a strong part of your game, and you're drafted by a guy that knows a thing or two about that in Magic Johnson. What does it mean to you to have him as a mentor and someone to learn from? Uh, it's crazy. I couldn't ask for anything more, and to be able to learn from him every day is truly a blessing. Now, I notice that you are not wearing the shoes that you walked the red carpet with earlier. Pretty convenient. You had to put on not just the hat, but you also had the shoes waiting for you back there as well. I did. I uh, kind of had that pre-planned, and I'm glad everything worked out. And I, I will note, you didn't have them in any other color, right? No, this was it. I know your family's with you here tonight, your dad and your brothers, but your mom, Tina, is at home watching. She suffered a stroke in February. What does it mean to you to be able to play at home because of your mother and being able to be close to her? Yeah, it helps a lot. Uh, I'm glad to be home so she can come to most of the games. And um, she's getting better every day, so that's great. And um, I know she's happy at home watching right now. Lonzo, thank you so much. We appreciate the time. Jeff